Well, today I'm going to show you the contents of my car in all its perky glory. In the driver door, I have water, because you should always stay hydrated when you're driving. And always, in general. Within reach of me, I have chapstick, a bunch of candy, which uh, pretends that it's for people, but it's for me. And about 25 Lyft cards, in case I have Uber passengers who want to know more about Lyft. People like to sit in the front, but it's really not the best experience. The best experience in my car is sitting in the back. However, I do have some water bottles in the door of my car. In the winter, I'll also keep candy in the door, but in the summer, it's a risk that it's going to melt, so I don't want to do that. I've kept it pretty light on the external signs. I only have these two small signs, one on this side and one on the other side of my car. Here in the back seat, I actually have the center seat closed off. Generally, I don't have four riders, but when I do, I'll move the candy basket to the trunk. In my goodie basket, I have many things. Water, lift cards, tissues, gum, taffy, mint. I also have chapstick, which is very popular and only costs 31 cents per stick on Amazon. On the back of each of my back seats, I have a little sign reminding people to rate. And finally, I have every kind of charger known to man. The way I rig the light in the charger is by plugging it into my center console and running on a USB extender and then a splitter. Finally, I have my handy dandy trash can. I also have a puke bag that I took from a Delta flight about five years ago and I keep in the back of my seats. I used to have two, but someone took one recently, which is totally fine. I'd rather they take it. I also have seat covers on all my seats to keep them nice and clean for passengers, but it also protects me from damaging my car, so that's very important. I have this tip box here, which I do think increases the amount of cash tips that I receive. However, this particular one was kind of expensive, so I'm not sure I would recommend it, especially since the top of it fell off and I had to replace it myself, which shouldn't happen when I'm spending so much on a product. People often forget that you need to keep a clear trunk. You literally never know when you might be picking someone up for an airport ride and they're gonna need the full trunk. One time I moved a guy with everything he owned. So in order to accommodate for that, I only keep the bare essentials in my trunk. I have an emergency kit that I got at O'Reilly, basic supplies, some cleaning supplies, and extras for my perks. I'm not gonna say this is the best setup in the world, but it is quite good for me and I like it. Remember that not all Ubers and Lyfts are going to be decked out like this and that's totally okay. A lot of people don't want to or can't invest a lot, but some people view it as creating an unreasonable expectation and don't wanna create that for their passengers. The most important thing to remember is that if you get into an Uber or Lyft like this, you should absolutely be tipping and rating your driver. They have clearly spent a lot of time and effort in making your experience as positive as possible, so reward them. Have a great day, and as always, feel free to leave questions in the comments, and I'll try to get to them in a future video. Bye!